Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. So today, we're back at it with another loot video, this time 10,000 Celestial Dragons. So first things first, the requirements for Celestial Dragons, it's actually quite simple. You just need to have one-of-a-kind quest completed, and that is it. I would highly recommend at least having, like, Super Anifiers or something, though because it does speed up your kills so that you can use two-handed weapons. Also, if you're off task, I'd recommend using Dragon Bane bolts or arrows to greatly increase your accuracy on these guys. But yeah, they really do not damage you at all if you have super anifiers. They do have a special attack though. If you take too long to kill the Celestial Dragon, it will perform like a stun ability, which keeps you stunned for like four seconds or something. I think you can prevent it with freedom, but it's kind of weird. But uh, best way to prevent this is just kill the dragons fast enough, which if you're on Slayer Task and you're doing the ability rotation correctly, that should easily be feasible. In terms of my general strategy, I just used ranged. That's what most people tend to use. I do not use Dragon Bane bolts or arrows because... If you have a Slayer task and a Slayer helm, you already have 100% accuracy, so having the Dragon Banes would make your DPS suffer because you're just lowering your damage at that point for no accuracy gain. And as for their actual drops, they are really good for Iron Men. They have a lot of hides, a lot of summoning items, general just money. So yeah, it's very good for Iron Men and not too shabby for main accounts. They also have a really good charm rate which we'll discuss in a bit, but yeah, I mean, these used to be one of my favorite tasks, but they, they're kind of just slow, like, it's a big commitment, the tasks take a long time, because I'm not really the best at killing them, and speaking of killing them efficiently, you should really use Weapon Poison++. Plus Plus. They do work on them, and it speeds up your kills a lot. I don't know the exact amount, but it at least makes your tasks, like, 5-10% to 10 faster, just by using that, it doesn't add any more work. It's just a bit more money. Definitely worth using. Anyway, though, there's not much to talk about with the Celestial Dragons, so let's move on and see what the loot is like. So, as you can see, they do have a decent amount of coin drops, so you can expect maybe like 500 per kill. And then, yeah, look at these steel plate bodies. If you're going for steel titans on an Iron Man or something, this is the place to do it. Uh, a decent way to get crafting supplies as well. And then these are good for water geysers, or I think they're called water geysers, right? I don't remember. As per usual, the rune ore and coal is from the spring cleaner. The only rune items that they have is pretty much the rune plate bodies. These are the ones that weren't broken down by the spring cleaner. Um, and then, yes, they do have the visages, which I got 22 of them. I actually just realized I didn't talk about their rare drops at all during the first part of the video, but I guess we can talk about it now. Yeah, they have visages, they have celestial hand wraps. They have the Dragon Rider equipment, which is um, hybrid armor. I don't remember which tier it is. Is it tier 75? I don't remember, but it's it's hybrid armor, and it has a decent prayer bonus. Uh, they fetch for a decent amount of money. Like The body's like 300k. Uh, not the best items to get, because they're pretty rare, as you can see. I got five of them in 10,000. I don't know if I got unlucky on that or something, but they also have the Dragon Rider kit, which I believe upgrades the Dragon Rider boots and or gloves? I don't remember, but they, they upgrade the other Dragon Rider pieces from KBD up to the the same tier as these ones. Kind of cool, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the rare drops. Um, they do have a decent rate for a visage, as you can see. I got 22. I don't know if I got lucky, but from this sample size, I mean, I could probably argue that maybe the visage is 1 in 512. A lot of drop rates in RuneScape are that number, so I could assume that maybe the visage is that. Um, there were a lot of tasks where I'd get 2 or 3 visages, so... It was kind of fun. But yeah, the Celestial Hand Wraps, I have no idea the drop rate. I would assume maybe 1 in 2k. But yeah, I got 7 of them, and they are a pretty penny. They are 4 mil still, because they are the Tier 90 uh, DPS Mage Gloves. There's nothing better than them right now, so that's, that is why they are that price. I also use them for my cosmetic, as you can see on my hands. Uh, so I have those keepsakes, same with the Rage Fires, if you've ever wondered. I don't know, I just like the particles on them. And finally, looking at the charms, they drop two charms at a time, and they have a 75% chance of dropping a crimson. Look at that. 15,000 crimson charms from 10,000 kills. That's just mind-boggling. Like, this is a great way of getting crimson charms. It really is. The blues aren't too bad either. You can expect, like, 0.2 per kill, and then 1.5 crimsons a kill. That, that makes this monster a very good way of training summoning. It really 
It really is a good place to train summoning. Either way, though, let's uh, see what all of this is worth. All right, nice. This is the biggest tab so far for a Slayer monster on this um, series of loot videos. The Edemu one was just slightly lower. But yeah, 162 mil. Let's round up. 162 mil in 10,000 kills. So a lot of the money is coming from the visages and the hand wraps. About a, th about a third of it is coming from those. Very nice. That might seem like these are really good money, but it's a bit misleading because you don't kill them as fast per hour as some of the other ones that we've saw or we've seen. Sorry, shitty grammar. I will tell you, this is a rough estimate. This is not exact at all. This is a rough estimate, but I would assume this video took me around 50 hours because when I was testing my rates, it seemed like I was getting around 200 kills per hour. So that would basically mean this is 50 hours. So if I can do it, I'm sure most of you can also do um, 200 kills per hour. I'm not that great at PVM uh, DPS wise. So I'm sure all of you could match my rates. So 50 hours is a good way of gauging this video. And with that, oh, I probably should have talked about the experience first. For the experience, I got 18.7 mil ranged experience alone. That is so good. Uh, they give you like almost 2,000 ranged experience per kill. And it's a lot of the reason why I even have uh, almost 150 mil ranged is just from these guys. So, um, yeah, 6.2 mil HP as well. And then almost 10 million Slayer experience. Uh, 9.8 million to be exact. So really, really good. But keep in mind, this is 50 hours worth of work, probably, um, which makes it around 374k range per hour, 124k HP, and almost 200k Slayer. That's actually really, really good for a monster like this, like with fairly low requirements. I wouldn't say the one-of-a-kind quest is all that difficult. And the dragons, obviously, they're, they're not hard at all as long as you have super antifires or a way to get full anti-protection or fire protection. So it seems like it's a little over 3.2 mil GP per hour, which is a lot less than the other videos we've been doing. But um, this monster is really all about consistency. Like you just make consistent money. I would say it's like a consistent 2 mil an hour GP. And then the charms are really good, really decent experience. Like all around, I would say it's a very efficient monster to do. Um, like it's, it's not like the best in any area. It's kind of like a jack of all trades. Like it's good in every area. Yeah, I would definitely recommend doing this task if you do get it. Uh, just remember, you need one of a kind, which is also a very good quest to do anyway. You get the Dragon Rider amulet or necklace or whatever, which is very good. It gives you extra experience when burying bones and also 10 prayer bonus. Very good. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. A bit shorter than my other loot videos, but Celestials are very straightforward, so I didn't really have to go into, you know, in-depth on anything specifically. So... With that, guys, if you want to talk to me in-game, join my friends chat, Fat Nooblet. Also, check out my links in the description where you can find my Twitch, where you can see my live streams, my Twitter, my Patreon, and my Discord server. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.